effort makes you. You will regret someday if you don't do your best now. Jungkook. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about music anime. Everyone likes music, except deaf people, but everyone else likes music. Some people like good music, others like bad music. Like K-pop. Ill gross. Jungkook. Typically, musicians live crazy lives. What we see, drugs, money, bitches, intolerable stands that probably all belong in a psych ward. But it's an arduous journey before you reach those highs. Hundreds of thousands of hours dedicated to honing your craft, ups and downs, failures, successes, hiccups along the way. There is a necessary patience required and the need for a whole lot of determination, just like any big dream out there. And so, the anime I'm going to be talking about today is none other than Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad. An anime that follows the journey of a bunch of blokes trying to make a name for themselves in the world of rock and roll. And probably the music anime that best focuses on being a muso, at least as far as I've seen. While I said it's the anime I'll be talking about today, that isn't quite the case. As the title suggests, I'll be talking more so about the manga, which is just better. That's not to say the anime is particularly bad, it's actually very faithfully adapted. However, it hasn't aged the best. The animation can be a bit janky, the performances by Beck don't quite hit the way the manga intends, and doesn't give us the complete story. Though, its OST is actually incredible. Every single one of the tracks is downright fantastic. The manga, on the other hand, is fucking sick as and speaks to the soul. I don't kid when I say you can hear the music playing on these pages. It's a manga that follows the long journey towards achieving the dream of stardom. Its central theme, success doesn't happen overnight. I feel that. Passion, love of the craft, the goddamn heart of the cards. Call me butter, cause I'm on a roll. Once you find that one thing that sets your soul ablaze, it's time to put it all out on the table, ride or die. When it comes to seeing your passions through, you should stop at nothing to achieve it. Otherwise, you'll always regret it. There'll be a time in your life that you'll look back and think, what if? You just gotta grow some big old balls and go for it. Success doesn't happen overnight, but with enough hard work, you'll make it there eventually. But here's Kayuki. He ain't found that certain something yet. He's just a regular ass kid and a bit of a dork. No real big dreams or motivations. Just kind of going through the cycles. Though, through some chance encounters, he's given the opportunity to overcome this ordinary life of his. And it's these moments you have to seize. This is Ryusuke Orei, a role model for Kayuki. Someone he can look up to and aspire to be like. Despite his lax attitude, this bloke's a mad guitarist and lives the rockin' life. Stealing, punch-ons, and most importantly, he's getting them bitches. After breaking up with his band because the lead vocalist was a sellout cunt, he puts together a new one of his own. Of course, Kiyuki isn't a part of this equation. I mean, fuck this kid. He likes basic pop music and has never held a damn instrument in his life. But, hey, chuck him a guitar and tell him to practice. And so that's what Kiyuki does. He slaves away for months practicing, getting lessons from Mr. Saito, the creepy old man down the street. And after all his hard work. Yeah, he's alright. But through this process, he's made new friends. Friends that aren't the weird loser kid. He gained the confidence to push himself, try new things, pursue his goals, and above all else, he's getting them bitches. The real linchpin that changed everything, however, was when we hear him sing. This kid has a fucking set of pipes on him. His voice is a game changer. And the rest is history. Well, yeah. This manga is about music and the way this journey changes people. This message is applicable to any big dream of a similar nature. The pursuit of greatness is always a difficult road, but it's the path you take that will define who you are and what your future holds. This is a manga about striving for a big dream. It won't be easy, as you try to stand above the herd, the world's gonna do its fucking hardest to put you back in your place. But as long as you don't lose heart and push and push and push some more, you'll get to where you wanna be. But Beck is a band. This ain't a story about just one kid, and so the manga showcases plenty of the complications that come along with sharing a dream. When it comes to pursuing something as a team or a group or a band, you can't just rely on yourself, and sometimes difficulties with your colleagues can end your dream as fast as it started. A great example of this can be found in the band's MC and main vocalist, Chiba. Throughout the series, a big factor that affects Chiba is his sense of belongingness within the band. It's a very simple thing that sparks it, being the only one of them not to see this same dream, like an actual fucking dream, in a literal sense. 
and this causes him to question his place in the band. A conflict as little as this, a dumb fucking reason, sparks a wildfire that has the potential to destroy everything they've built. But in the real world, honestly, that's enough. Doing shit as a group has its pros and cons, and Beck explores plenty of them and then some. Through the trials and tribulations of the music industry, Beck or Mongolian Top Squad as it's known in the West go on to build the name for themselves. This manga showcases the many obstacles that look to hinder the band, whether it's corrupt music producers, infighting within the group, unavoidable circumstances, communication difficulties when touring, or even getting caught up in some pretty fucking sketchy situations. Beck tackles them all. It even dives into things that aren't directly related to the band's success, notably the difficulties of maintaining a relationship with the Muso. It's a good insight and feels pretty down to earth. Like many other dreams of stardom, there is no tangible end goal. You keep rising and gaining notoriety until things fall apart. But every time Beck performs, you can feel the passion burning in their souls. And despite being but panels on pieces of paper, this passion transcends the medium and you can almost hear the music they play. When you're reading a manga, the only sense is sight, yeah? But bloody hell, I've never read a manga that I thought I could hear. Whilst of course you can't actually hear Jack squat, but through the build-up, the way the band feels, the reactions they get from the audience, and the musos that influence their art, you can picture it and imagine their grateful sound. Speaking of which, I wanted to talk about the grateful sound arc, which stood out to me as a defining moment of the manga. Won't be getting into detail, so don't worry too much about spoilers. Beck gets a spot at a massive music festival, though a shitty stage in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. With massive pressures on their shoulders and massive tensions within the band boiling over, everything looks as if it's gone to shit. But it's these moments in life, the moments along the journey, that can determine whether you make it or not. It's what you do in these moments that show your true colours. Will you let the complications overcome you, or will you find a way to push through? Beck has a way of conveying what it means to follow through on your dreams, and lets the audience know that once you put your heart and mind to something with enough effort, it is possible. No, it's inevitable. And they do it in a way that makes the audience genuinely feel it. Characters are realistic, and so is the world around them. Sure, there are one or two scenarios that the average person is not likely to ever come by in their lives, but for the most part, it's grounded and down to earth. This is not some anime where everyone's fucking perfect and their dreams come true because of plot armor or because characters have a fucking IQ of 300. These are just some regular ass dudes who share a dream and passion who rise their way through the ranks on pure dedication and legwork. Honestly, their music gives their in-world audience a fucking hell of a time. But to us, they give us hope. Sure, your dreams are far away, so fucking far away that it may seem impossible to even grasp, but one step at a time, you'll find yourself closer to that dream. Personally, when I had first watched the anime years back, it was solid. That's it. It was just pretty good anime. But upon revisiting it and reading the manga, Instead, I can say that this shit fucking slaps. Whilst I was and am already working towards my dream and don't plan on giving up no matter the circumstances, reading this manga helped reinforce my resolve. Also, I didn't know quite where to slot this into the script, so I'ma just chuck it in here. There's a cool little detail that the manga has, the chapter covers. All of them are spoofs of real world rock album covers, and that's just really fucking neat. Some great ones that are easily identifiable are Radiohead's The Benz, Nirvana's Nevermind, Akadaka's Back in Black, Chili Peppers' Californication, Metallica's Master of Puppets, and so many more. I mean, there's over a hundred chapters, so you can imagine. This is a manga about the legwork it takes to achieving your dreams, set in the backdrop of music. Success doesn't happen overnight, but if you keep hammering away at it, you'll make it there eventually. And so, Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad, is gonna get a solid 9 out of 10 on the Cody board. But then again, most people are a bunch of dropkicks who'll never have the motivation to try, so enjoy watching some people with enough balls to do it. See ya!